History and What's Next for the CIN Lecture Series at the Schomburg Center for Research in Black Culture. Create a forum uh, for a live audience with major speakers with substantive ideas to share and to give the audience a chance to interact with them. Introducing In at the Kitchen with celebrity chef Patrick Simpson. In at the Kitchen. Today we are giving a pair of tickets to see Freddie McGregor on Wednesday, November 8th at BB King in New York City. And we are going to show you how to win these tickets in three easy steps. New York's top 10 countdown and much, much more. You're watching Come Chat With Me, a Caribbean lifestyle magazine. And I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. The annual CIN lecture series is a community forum for airing visionary Caribbean leaders who reflect on regional affairs and provide hope and direction for the future. Presented as the Schomburg Center for Research in Black Culture, the lecture has become one of the premier Caribbean events in New York. Come chat with me, we'll look at the history of CIN lecture series in a two-part series with Bob Gore. Jamaica has achieved significant gains and has registered many outstanding achievements as a nation. For one thing... You know, to get your stock price up, you just have to produce more profits and give your shareholders a good return on investments, and that is what... Year after year, corruption ranks in Jamaica in the top four of the 16 most problematic factors for doing business. You're welcome. You're watching Come Chat With Me. And I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. And this segment is very special, very special segment, all right? We're going to talk to Mr. Bob Gore, right? And he's going to tell us about the 13 years history with CIN and the Schaumburg Center. How are you doing, Mr. Bob? It's a pleasure to be with you. Thank you very much, man. Pleasure to have you here also. Tell us a little bit. Who is Bob Gore? Well, Bob Gore is a professional photographer, but more importantly for this purpose, yeah. I am one of the partners in the Caribbean International Network and have been with the company since its broadcast inception in New York City, I guess it's about 22 years ago now. How did CIN, the CIN lecture begins? It's a good question. The, the CIN lecture was the brainchild of our CEO, Stephen Hill. Okay. And the idea behind the lecture was to provide a showcase for intellectual talent from the Caribbean. Mm. And the idea started as a one-timer and now we're approaching our 13th lecture 13th. coming up next month. Why yes. would a TV organization produce a lecture? Well, the idea was to create a forum uh, for a live audience mm -hmm. with major speakers, with substantive ideas to share, and to give the audience a chance to interact with them. Okay. The caliber of individuals that we have uh, enjoyed over the past 12 years have been people of note from Jamaica, people who have been large in the society, okay. people with significant business, cultural, and uh, political careers, but seldom do the average person have a chance to see them face to face. And tell us, what were some of your favorite highlights? Well, the whole experience has been very exciting to me because uh, like the audience, these were people that I had always wanted to meet on my own but did not have an opportunity. And without making favorites out of this, because I enjoyed each lecture, there were uh, a number who stand out in my mind because of uh, their presentation struck me in a personal kind of way. Uh, former Prime Minister Edward Siaga was one. Oh. Uh, his presentation yeah. spoke so much about the culture and the history of Jamaica, but beyond that, he yeah. talked about the connections throughout the entire Pan-African diaspora. Okay. And so the things he, he, he brought to his lecture, that he, that he presented in his lecture, were things that related not only to Jamaica, mm -hmm. but to also the continent of Africa and also the U.S. And so his remarks struck me in a very important way. Former Prime Minister P.J. Patterson was another one. Okay, nice. uh, his vision for a pan-Caribbean economy. Mm -hmm. Mimicking what has happened in Europe, 
and to some extent in Asia, where economies link together uh, to build their economic clout globally. That was the focus of, 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 of his presentation. I was very intrigued by that. It was intellectually stimulating, and of course, both these gentlemen uh, are very large personalities who, okay, yeah. who, who can tell you things that just enjoy sitting at their feet, you know, <laughs> hour after listening, hour, yeah. then listening hour after hour. And so we're, we're looking forward to uh, the next lecture that's going to be uh, yeah. November uh, 15th here November at the Schaumburg Center. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and I, I might add too that uh, yeah. we've greatly enjoyed our presence here at the Schaumburg Center for research in black culture. Yes. It is the perfect home for the lecture, and it's a location that has been so supportive not only of, uh, of, of our presence here, but accommodating uh, to the audience. And it's a great matchup between the Schomburg's global black look mm -hmm. and the specific emphasis that we have on Caribbean intellectual talent. And so far, who was the audience has been responding? The audience, it's the question. The audience has been very enthusiastic. In fact, uh, I think there are people who who spend the whole year waiting to ask that one question. <laughs> yeah. And it really is uh, uh, enjoyable because for many people, uh, whether it's party politics affiliated, whether it's environmentally affiliated, whether it's about the economy, these folks always want to see the decision maker face to face. We all have yeah. that feeling, you know. If I could yeah. talk to the president, if yeah, I could talk to the prime minister, here's what I would say. Well, yeah. they 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 come ready for that, and the speakers each year enjoy that that that, that exchange. And okay. by the way, we have a nice buffet, you know, uh, uh, before uh, the uh, I should say a light buffet uh, before yeah. before e e each lecture uh, provided by Golden Crust. Okay, and nice. so and so, yeah. you make a whole evening mm -hmm. of it, and and you can't beat the price; it's free. So what's next? Tell us what next. What's next is a person I've uh, come to know through her writings and 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 publicity, and someone who I'm really eager to meet. Uh, her name is Diana McCauley, mm -hmm. and she started and heads up an organization called the Jamaican Environmental Trust. Okay, Jamaica Environmental Trust. Yes, and okay. she is, I guess the most visible voice on behalf of the environment in the country. I wish for all of us who live here, who call ourselves Jamaican, who speak easily, but not necessarily convincingly, of Jamaica land we love. I wish us reconciliation and peace and fairness. I wish us a brighter future than either our past or our present. And please, if somewhere on the rock, a forest, mountain, river, beach, cliff, or coral reef could be left undestroyed, undeveloped, and unimproved. That would be so lovely. She was born and raised in, and still lives in Kingston. Oh, yeah. Um, she also has taken up as a personal passion and life mission to inform the public about the need to protect the environment yeah. and to be a hands-on advocate and a lobbyist in the halls of power in the country to make sure that government and industry understands that without the environment, we have no future. Definitely. So she's our next speaker coming up next month, and I'm eager to hear her. And I think all people who want to know what the future holds for our children ought to want to hear her comments, which relate to saving the environment, okay. and saving the environment not only because it's a good thing to do, but because in our case, it is our future. I want to invite everyone to join us at the Schomburg Center for Research in Black Culture, located at 135th Street and Lenox Avenue in Harlem, for the next CIN lecture, where Diana McCauley will be the speaker. And she's going to be exploring the future of Jamaica's environment and what you can do to make sure that the environment is there for our children. <laughs> My roots, we are trying to the valley. Valley of death, conquer that mentally. Take a little whiff of that bun for me, Charlie. For me, Charlie, take me higher than a killer man, Jerry. Touch the anointed and you bum for sorry. In a female heart covenant that me carry. Me now go walk in a turnstile alley, cause the turnstile alley, man, them deal with folly. Welcome, you're watching Come Chat With Me. And I'm live in the kitchen today 
inside of BBPs here, inside of the city. And trust me, we have it locked today with Chef Patrick Simpson, the number one chef in the New York City. Then for know that. See? In? So keep it locked. Inside the kitchen. We're inside the kitchen now, as you can see. Next to the chef himself, yeah, Chef Patrick Simpson. Yeah, yeah, man, chef. Yo, listen, man. It's gonna be a problem, man. Yes, man. Drew Hill. 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 Hill is oh, in the building tonight. Oh, could I forget that? Yo. Man. <laughs> Joe Hill, keep it locked. Martin, Joe <laughs> Hill, BB King, the chef. Chef Simpson, it's mad, man. All right. So, what are you prepared for today? Well, listen, man. Man. What's going on? You know where I do. Yeah. You can take it back here. Definitely. Definitely. Walker's Wood. I'm going to do a jerk, I'm going to do a yes. jerk salmon right. I'm going to finish it off with some of the, the bad bad pickle, escovich yeah. Again from Walker's Wood So you want, we're going to put it together yeah. Nice jerk salmon, Walker's Wood Finish him up with yeah. some mango salsa Jasmine rice Listen, so it's going to be man. crazy yeah. Yo, you just came in, you saw the girls outside You saw the, the line, yo The line crazy already The line crazy, who, yeah. who that? Mr. Tang to Tang 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 For real, alright <laughs> I hear you, I'm not seeing but I'm gonna see him tonight. All so right. keep it locked. I'm gonna let the chef do him thing and get out of the way. Enough as Ziggy bless. A chef seems to time now. All keep right. it locked. Come chat with me. Alright, watch out now, watch out now. So here we are. Today, like I said, we are doing a jerk salmon with um, the bad escovitch. So here we are now. Now make it real simple. So right now, me have a walkers with jerk season, bump from the salmon. And before that, but they don't have it marinated already with the walkers with marinade. So we use the walkers with marinade, put it together and marinate them up real good. Make them look real good and sexy. That's what I'm talking about. That's a jerk salmon right there. Salmon looking real nice. Salmon looking real nice. Just drizzle a little bit of the jerk marinade over him. Nice. Let him stay there and make him go and cook a little bit more. To make my jerk sauce, I already have my garlic, my onion, the pepper, everything over there so I'm going to saute. I'm going to twist them up a little bit and I'm going to go with a little bit of the jerk marinade right inside of it just to get out that flavor. I'm going to go right now the woman to finish him up. Right now the woman to finish him up and let him stay right there so. Right now the salmon is cooked, it's going to cook for another 5 minutes, then I'm going to take it out and we're going to go right in the plating presentation, then we're going to go chat with Mr. Cisco himself, the Drew Hill, right here inside BB King. Hey what's up, I'm Sharice Marie and we are here at BB King's to see the legendary quartet Drew Hill. <laughs> I love all their songs. You love all their songs. What's your favorite? Um, I can't even actually say that because I actually do love all their songs. It's really hard. Sleeping in my bed. Well, that's number one. Number one. Number one. Yes, that's number one. Okay. The rest follows behind that one, but that one speaks volumes. I've been a fan since I was like 12. I'm 32 now, so. <laughs> um, yeah, I. whenever I'm in a city that they're in, I go see them. Drew Hill, the 90s phenomenal group that was busting down things. Yeah, I'm coming here to see them because BB Kings, they always give you the throwbacks, and I'm here for the throwbacks. What I'm talking about, I'm gonna take the salmon out right now because this salmon, this salmon looking real good right now. Looking real good. Ah. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. Nice good. And a nice medium to medium work. You know, I'll put the summer too drop. And there should be a nice to medium to medium work. The 
summer looking nice and pretty. Now come right over here. Put them right there. So. And then now come right over here. I'm gonna take a nice sauce. I'm gonna go right over the top. Real simple. I make the sauce run right off. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Let them run right off. Right. Clean up my plate nice and pretty because you know how your boy is already. And I'm gonna finish them off with a nice chard. Nice chard lemon on the side. Take some of my pickle. Take some of my pickle and I'm gonna go right here on the side. So you can have a little bit of spicy and a little bit of vinegar right up on the side right there. So I'm gonna make, make him look nice and pretty. A little bit of garnish. A little bit of garnish right on top. Keep them simple. That's what I'm talking about. Say outside of music, you guys set the bar. Hey, baby. Set the bar the when it the bar the like bar. right here when it comes to men's fashion. No. I don't care what to say, what to do, no, right. and what the men do to the ladies. Because mm. we do it to the ladies. They do yeah. it to the ladies. Like Michael Douglas. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what brought about this tour? This like I mean, after so many years, I mean, like you guys are like still doing it right like who wants to say something first well well i mean the the reality is we um we uh we're all raising families and everything so like 2008 i think it was you know we decided to get back out here and let people know that we still do what we do and um really it's just been like a campaign you know city to city state to state setting stages on fire mm -hmm. you know letting people know like real RB is still here if you live life and you show up for it every day you learn and you grow and that's kind of just the center of you know what we do like we live real lives we go through real stuff you know and we bring it we bring it to the state <laughs> Yeah, boom blast. You don't know where Ziggy Bless and you're watching Street Buzz New York. And we're going in the street once again, yeah. And we're gonna find out what is the people them favorite West Indian dish. See? So keep it locked. Street Buzz New York coming at you. I can say the rice and peas with the jerk chicken. Yeah, with the yeah. cabbage and a little bit of plantain. Oh. Yes, yes. You know your thing, man. You know your thing, yes. man. Yeah, man. Big up to my to my job, uh, Golden Crush. You heard? All right. Definitely. I gotta say, oxtails and rice and peas. Without question, jerk chicken, man. Ooh, jerk right. chicken. Yeah. Jerk chicken. Yeah, yeah, man. Without question. No rice and peas with it. Just jerk chicken. Man, listen. Just give me this jerk chicken <laughs> with the jerk sauce, man. I'm good, man. Come on, man. You got oxtail, cow foot soup. Yeah. Macaroni pie, all that good stuff, man. There's been many times, you know, especially when, you know, when they had the, you know, I'm not going to disrespect the young ones, yeah. but, if, you know, back in the days when you used to go up there for the parades and everything sure, else, sure. It, was, it was nothing sure. but love out there. You get everything out there. And I, I have had the fortune, you know, of having a couple of Different girls from though. girls oh, from the Indies oh, and oh, and yeah. they they can cook, guys. Yeah. <laughs> curry chicken. That's, that's it? Nothing with it? That's curry chicken? Anything curry. I think it's like the dumplings and the um beef. Yeah. Beef and dumplings? Yeah. I think that's my favorite. Real time, man. That beef and dumpling. Yeah, but they all all they food is good though. I love all they food. Like all it's right. delicious. It's delicious. You know what I'm saying? It got spice to it. Oh, uh, jerk chicken with peas and rice. Mm -mm. I love that. That's my favorite one of my favorite dishes. All you right. know. I might get me some curry goat with some peas and rice. Yeah. And you know, I like both of them. Don't go away. New York's top 10 countdown is up next. 
Let's see which artist makes it to the number one spot. And remember, if you make it in New York City, you can make it anywhere in the world. Machine them dirty, but we are roll clean. Clean, clean. Every girl a scream, Jenna, them a roll in. Dream team. Bridget's fun food and, and, Bridget's fun food. Desert fun food and, and, Desert fun food. <laughs> You come from if you're single or if you have a husband, if a beta or if him is a gunman, that are your real skin tone or your sun tan, is that your natural hair or it custom? And now, the moment you have all been waiting for, come chat with me's number one video in New York City is the Marcos Noah Hala. Thanks for watching Come Chat With Me, New York's number one Caribbean lifestyle magazine. Tune in each and every Sunday at 6 p.m. right here on CIN. See you next week.